Because people often characterize me as a, okay, because I speak the way I speak as a crazy postmodernist and so on. No, I take science extremely seriously. I definitely don't think in a postmodern way that's the radical position of somebody like Michel Foucault and some others that science that eats discourse in the subjective exchange or space of meaning uh, has produces its own truth and has its own truth criteria. So, brought to the end, this logic means why should scientific truth be universalized as the only proof against, uh, let's say, b b religious superstitions or whatever, private wisdom. You have different discourses which define truth differently, but every notion of truth is bound to a certain discourse. I don't agree with this. Whatever Chomsky would have thought about things about me here, I believe totally in scientific truth. And I am even writing now a new text on, on quantum physics. What I try to do there is not to do this nightmare of, you know, there is fashionable with some new age guys to say, well, physics is, 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 is uh, confirming that there is no objective reality that we cause. No, I want to read quantum physics in a strict materialist way. But nonetheless, there is a problem here, not a problem of non-materialism, but the problem of how we have to redefine how should we call it? The all these wave oscillations, the quantum yeah, sphere. The wave function. Because yeah, the wave function. For example, as we all know, uh, Niels Bohr totally avoided this problem, even prohibited it. As some critic wonderfully defined uh, Bohr's position, if you ask him, but what is the nature of reality? His answer is basically, shut up and calculate. <laughs> you don't raise these questions. But today, especially, I think it's extremely important with the three quantum physics experimenters who got Alain Aspect and others, to others who got the Nobel Prize, now this, uh, 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 this uh, quantum communication faster than... Uh, light between different points is empirically fully right, confirmed. So we cannot we cannot avoid this question. We have to ask or even with sorry with let's say quantum computers. Obviously we can even at some level manipulate use quantum processes. So the question is legitimate. What happens with our ordinary notion of reality? But I'm not saying it's just a subjective illusion and so on and so on. No, our notion of reality has to be changed precisely to save materialism, to redefine it. It is more radically materialism, although it may sound as if it is, let's call it, materialism without matter. But I lost your thread. Your question was not this, was ah, science. Yes, so I am totally scientific here. 